All right, so just wanted to quickly move on to the travel bag section of things and how I, what else I'm bringing with me. Um, occasionally, we need to bring a drone or um, on a job or something like that, or it's a place that we can fly, so we, we try to bring one. And Usually, I just keep it really simple. Um, I use the 3DR Robotics drone, and the nice thing is it's already simple, dialed, easy to go in this backpack. Um, not a lot of, you know, repacking needs to be done. The whole entire thing just basically sits right inside here. And usually what I'll do is if I'm, if I'm traveling with this, I'll put a couple extra GoPros and even a GoPro gimbal inside this because it's just nice to have it all seamless in one place. Um, you got, you know, spot for your memory card, spot for extra batteries, everything else. Uh, it's all dialed. So that's kind of the, the you know, its own self-contained kit, which is actually really nice for me. Now, for myself, a lot of times I usually will check in one bag. If I can, if I can try to just check in one, I'm really stoked. Um, and I've, I've used a lot of different things from North Face duffels to uh, Big Agnes waterproof kind of packs. And what I really like to do is have something that's large that I can kind of shrink down a little bit or tighten down or expand if I need to put in wet stuff or I need to put in more gear. I like the ability to have a little more stuff in there. Um, so this right here uh, is just a very, very used and worn bag that I've been traveling with. I still have a, a flight thing on there. Um, this is basically one of the uh, Granite Gears new um, travel bags. The coolest part about it is that it has wheels but no rigid back. So if I'm running around the airport and I really don't want to put this thing on my back because it does have backpack straps, which is awesome, or you can use this as one shoulder strap. Um, I can just pull this up and wheel this thing around the airport, right? So walking with it's really nice and easy. It takes a lot of the weight off you if you've got a heavy camera bag on. Um, this is just a, a really nice option to have that variety. But like I said before, it doesn't have a big rigid back. It's actually got a really, really durable material that's um, pretty dang waterproof too. So if it's raining outside and stuff like that, um, you know, I've got that protection if I need it. So with this thing, the beauty of it is that I can, um, I can put a lot of stuff inside. <laughs> um, and I usually tend to try and pack a little bit better, but I just want to break down all the stuff I've got in here. I'm just going to go try and go over this really quickly. Um, now, a pair of waterproof boots. Usually I'm traveling in a pair of shoes that's a lot more comfortable. Uh, but yeah, a pair of waterproof boots. These are insulated Solomons. I love them to death. Um, now, every job is different. Everywhere you pack is different. Everywhere you go is different. You need different essentials. A lot of times I'll be filling this bag up even more with something else, whether I'm going somewhere where I need more rain protection or whatever. But this is just the essentials that come with me on almost every trip. Um, so I have another little kinesis bag holding two walkie-talkies. Walkie-talkies, why? Because most places you go, it's a lot cheaper to use these than it is to use cell phone service. It's that. Um, this little guy. This is a mind shift camera bag unit that basically allows you just to go around your waist and you can just shove the camera in here. It's, it's very, very lightly padded. Something that's just really easy for if you're kind of on the go, rushing, going anywhere, and you just are gonna be backpacking and need like one little camera with you. Um, I like to bring multiple ways to carry cameras because you never know. I mean, there's been trips where I'm, I'm on a you know seven hour kayak mission and I'm like, wow, I wish I would have brought in that little tiny lightweight pack. Also in my bag, a little tiny medical kit is just a waterproof, basically Ziploc sort of thing that has an awesome medical kit that hopefully I never have to use, but it's always smart to have it. Um, being, you know, the more you know, the less you need. and. Ideally, I like to be as prepared as I can too. So, um, what else? I've got trekking poles. Um, save your knees, save your back. These things are awesome. And also just, you know, if anything, great as a prop as well to shoot and great, you know, to photograph your friend, you know, when you're doing something or whatever the job is. I've always, I always need these. Um, they also work great as a little camera stabilizer too. So, a pair of black diamond trekking poles. Also, you know, you can bring baskets if you're going in the snow or even for winter use. I've got a small, tiny, little lightweight Joby tripod. So this is just great for if I'm using action cam or a GoPro or a smaller camera or even my Sony a6000, putting this on a uh, time lapse and just letting it go. This thing's awesome too, to attach to a window or whatever. So always kind of comes in handy for me. Um, 
essentials. Usually I bring a bag of bars and energy stuff that's like three times the size. Uh, and here I've just got a handful of rise bars, uh, three or four rise bars in here. I like these because they last long, but they're actually really fresh. I've also have some energy shot blocks from Cliff Bar that I love to death. Um, apparently they're not candy, but uh, I sometimes I eat them like they are. Uh, and these are great little green superfoods from Amazing Grass now. I travel in places like the Arctic and Norway and Iceland a lot, so you're usually not getting a lot of greens in your diet, so it's really nice to have something to put in there, and those are something I just go through all the time. Um, amazing grass makes kind of a whole plethora of that stuff, and wheatgrass products, so health is a, kind of a big importance to me when I'm on the road, uh, and that's something I always bring with me too. Uh, this is my third Gold Zero solar charger. Now this is a larger unit. This is called the uh, Sherpa 100. And what this guy will do is it'll actually charge a laptop. It'll charge, you know, full on 12 volt. It's got, you know, basically all the power you need and it can be recharged by solar, which is great. So I'll usually bring a tiny little panel like this with all the plugins and adapters and I will plug this thing straight in to this guy. Um, I really, really can't express enough how important, you know, being able to be self-sufficient is on the road. I think that that's one of the, the biggest and most important things that I really try to emphasize when I'm traveling is the ability to get out there. And if you don't have the means of doing that, then you're stuck, you know, stuck relying on energy somewhere, which kind of sucks. Um, this little guy, tiny little lantern from uh, Goal Zero as well. Um, I love this guy because oftentimes I'm editing in the back of a car um, or I'm, you know, editing in a tent somewhere so they can hang up inside the tent. Uh, it's also got a couple different power settings, right? If I want to go half power uh, or full power. And it can also charge just by USB. So I could plug this into this unit or I can use its own plug to charge a cell phone or something else like that. So super tiny, makes a massive amount of difference. Um, in terms of emergency use, um, always bring with me a SteriPen. This is basically a water filtration device. Uh, that uses UV light. Now, I don't know if you've ever used a SteriPen, but you basically turn them on, you spin the thing around in water. It does not take out debris, but it will kill 99.9% .9 of any bacteria inside. So this is crucial to have. Um, to be honest, this is one of the things I travel with all the time. Um, and really, no matter where I'm going, whether it's a national park or wherever, it takes up no space, and it's you know so much smaller than a water filter um, system. So also always trying to bring with me a little uh, Gerber multi-tool. Uh, I often break stuff on the road and having something like this where I have, you know, a knife, some tools, everything I need, and actually like a good pair of pliers you can really use. You know, I've, I've often found that if, if you're not going on a trip with a multi-tool, you can almost guarantee it's not gonna be an adventure. So uh, that's important as well. A, um, I will sometimes bring a little camp stove. This is one of the primest ones. This is some camp gas. You can't actually travel with camp gas usually. So if I'm traveling stateside, you know, I'll bring gas. If not, I'll go pick some up. But uh, usually I'm using a primus tiny little kind of uh, almost like a personal stove unit. Uh, but this is a little bit larger one if I'm traveling with people. And the nice part about this guy is that, you know, if you need it, you've got everything to cook, you know, off different types of gas as well as uh, just different modes of cooking whatever you want. So this is a unit that you can use for two to three people, which is really great. Um, let's put this right there. So, what else? Um, in here, this is another tiny little camera bag. If I'm bringing my, you know, waterproof camera, if I'm bringing, you know, a couple of action cams or whatever, I'll just shove this in my bag. This can also be something to hold a lens. And these little D-rings right here are basically where I'd put my Peak Design strap on and hold this camera bag. Right now, I just have a filter cleaning kit. So this is just a visible dust little filter cleaner as well as an Arctic butterfly by the same company. And um, these things work great. I use them for a long time. You basically charge it and you can put it on your sensor and um, it'll clean it off right right down in there. And it has a light on it too. So this is actually an amazing tool for sensor dust. Kind of bring that everywhere I go because I'm always finding dust on my sensor. I don't know about you, but I am. Um, all fits into this little tiny kit here. This is an entire bag of just uh, Sony action cam stuff. I have two, two of them, really small 4K action cam. Awesome to have. Throw it on this tripod over here, set up for a time lapse. You know, if you're videoing yourself, you can put it on your camera. You can do so many different things with it. And they just, they 
are really, really good at getting beat up and surviving. So in here, I've got a couple different mounts. The beauty of this is it all fits in a kind of a small little bag. And it, you know, if you need it, it's there. If not, it's no big deal. But I always find that the trips I don't bring it on, that's when I need it the most. Um, in here, I have a uh, Nemo two-person tent. Um, this is one of my favorite tents. It's called the Dagger Two. And uh, it's not even packed down right now. It actually been packed down as something really, really small. Um, but just to show you, it basically opens from both sides. So you have dual vestibules, which is really clutch if you have camera gear. So you're not, all your gear is not stuck against one side that has a closed side and there's tons of debris and precipitation getting on it. Um, you also have open space, you know, for two people. It's pretty, it's pretty large, but it packs down to less than uh, four pounds. So it's like 3.2 something. Um, stakes as well uh, in here for that tent in here sleeping bag as well as a sleeping pad um, this unit this thing's not even packed down the way it can actually shrink down even further so this is something that i'm always bringing with me it doesn't you know it's funny too because oftentimes you know the trips where i'm not camping or when i'm using my sleeping bag uh a ton as well you know if i'm in uh somewhere where they have sleeping bag accommodations, I'm trying to save some money, I'll bring a sleeping bag and they don't charge you as much because they don't have to do their sheets, right? So that's really helpful. Uh, and then kind of last two things, just my clothing bag, which is all shoved into here. And this is rad because this little guy is a Granite Gear ultralight, um, ultralight little packable pack, but it's also completely waterproof. So um, what I'll do sometimes if I'm doing a little kayak mission and I need to shove some gear into there, I mean, this whole thing can be can go really, really small as well. Um, and this is kind of what I'm bringing, just, just jackets, clothes, extra stuff. I usually try to take on the plane with me, um, a variation of everything I need, like a jacket, you know, a pair of shoes I can use in case all my stuff gets lost that I'm checking. I like to make sure that I've got enough stuff that I can use. And last but not least, this little guy is my foam roller, which is another little massage tool to save your back and, uh, save your muscles when you get to where you're going. If you've been carrying a camera bag around all day, this guy comes in handy. I think it's made by TP Therapy. Um, and the beauty is you can always put your Nemo poles like through it or your tent through it. It takes up like literally no space. So like I said, all this stuff fitting inside here. Plus I've got plenty of extra space as well. So that is kind of the essentials for what I'm usually bringing with me on a trip. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll try to do my best to get back to you guys as well as get any brand names that you guys wanted to know. So, thanks.